here in the last. They're racing. First of them to leave, San Crispino. Nelson's flight jump well with the Grey Lord help me run Sir Bollinger and Harvey's going to have Vital Flirt. Nice and prominent after the start. Then Diplomat Express and Differentiator. He's a pro getting right back and so street fair musical art. Over into the back they head as they approach the 1300. Nelson's flight rolling to the lead for Rowilla. Out by a length and a half to Lord help me run and San Crispino. Then two lengths Vital Flirt. A length away Bollinger Boy. A length and a half to Diplomat Express. Back on the inside next is Differentiator. Then third from last is He's a Pro in the bright pink colours. Back there, Musical Art in company with Street Fair. As they drop the anchor a little here at the 1,000, Nelson's Flight getting a breather. In control of proceedings in the last out by a length and a half to Lord Help Me Run. Tucked away down on the inside of the Mayor San Crispino. Back there in the clear running fourth is Vital Flirt being followed then after a length and a half. Bollinger Boy, three quarters Diplomat Express at the 700. Differentiator's over on the inside of He's a Pro. The last pair was Street Fair and Musical Art. Nelson's flight at the 650. Tries to extend that lead. Snuck about two and a half in front of San Crispino. And Rawilla's really got this horse travelling. He's in the zone. Nelson's flight coming to the turn. Holds him together nicely. About two or three San Crispino. Harvey makes his move with Vital Flirt as they come around the home turn. Further back, Lord Help Me Run. Bollinger Boy, Diplomat Express and He's a Pro. Further back behind them street fair nelson's flight though still led he's kidding to it at the 200 now he has to go vital flirt harvey makes his move he comes up on the outside of nelson's flight draws level hits the lead san crispino battles away further back street fair but vital flirt's going to canter in vital flirt more than a length but had plenty in reserve over nelson's flight san crispino Photo for fourth. He's a pro street fair together. Then Bollinger Boy. Lord help me run back there with Diplomat Express. Differentiator is second last. And rounding them all up, musical art here in the last. Vital flirt. Confident ride there by the pontiff. You could see Brad Rowilla nursing and just kidding to Nelson's flight with the 60. Had him travelling well though. And uh, Harvey made his move there, and when he went, Vital Flirt really got the toe into the track, as she loves to do, and has picked up Nelson's flight. San Crispino battled away strongly. Street Fair, he's a pro photoing fourth. Sixth, the winner, Vital Flirt by Vital Equine. Out of Flirt with Time, uh, bred to be a duck, quite frankly. Trained by David Harrison for Kayla Farrell, and ridden by Paul Harvey. Uh, this horse just loves the ground. Uh, second placing to two Nelson's flight by Blackfriars out of Kadira. Trained by Michael Morton, written by Brad Rowilla. Ten is third home. San Crispino by Famous Roman from Scoop the Loot. Lucy Warwick for Sharon Miller. Nine ran fourth. He's a pro in front of Street Fair. Six, two, ten, nine. They're the last on the card. And uh, the margin's one and a quarter, but uh, Harvey had turned off the ignition in the last little bit. A long neck, second and third. 150.20 and 36.68 the times there on the Heineken 3 handicap. OK, he won with plenty in hand and uh, Vital Flirt now two goes for the Harrison Stable for two wins after uh, getting hold of the horse with the Farrells up in the Kimberley at the moment with their team and uh, it's a 100% strike rate as we head downstairs to Britt Taylor. Thanks very much, Darren. No David Harrison here in the yard to talk to, but Vital Flirt, you said it uh, in the preview, Michael. Darren just said it then. Bred to be a duck, quite frankly, by Vital Equine out of a McFlirt mare. And uh, Kayla Farrell was doing a wonderful job with this horse, obviously, as it headed north. And I wouldn't mind being there myself. It's quite chilly here as we've rounded out to the last. So half their luck, uh, but uh, obviously handed over the training duties to David Harrison. And this mare's continuing on her winning ways. Oh, she certainly is. And David's just picked up where Kayla left this horse off. She's now a winner at three of her past four starts with a nice runner-up finish in between those and she's done it on good track she's done it on a heavy eight track and yes a vital equine out of a mcflirt mare if there was ever going to be a horse uh, bred to run this uh, on this type of surface it was certainly this one and uh, paul harvey just seemed to have plenty in hand as well got into a lovely position from an awkward draw uh, the leader gave a good kick on straightening but gee he just seemed to be in second gear still and when he let the hand break off he cruised past 
uh, a very brave Nelson's flight under the 60 kilos, but one with plenty in hand, and you'd think there might be a Saturday win in this man now. You would. The way that she has been progressing, she's just taken that natural improvement throughout her campaign. It was only three starts ago that she won that Class 1 at Northam, and then you know, second behind Luke's choice, and now a back-to-back -back winner here. So going super, and the big thing is throughout these winter months is if you've got a horse that can handle these sort of conditions invariably as the deeper we get into winter we're going to get more rain and they just are able to win races uh, by being able to get through the ground when others don't yeah we've seen a number of horses here today not uh, handle the going as well and they're under pressure throughout but a vital flirt was just traveling so strongly in the run then and we'll find out just how strongly with uh, paul harvey we'll get a a uh, quick word from him, uh, Paul, this horse only a class three winner a few starts ago, then a uh, class one, sorry, then a class three, progressing through the grades beautifully. Yeah, yeah, obviously she's bit in a bit of a purple patch and it's a nice little pickup ride. Uh, first start on a heavy track, but by Vital Equine out of a McFlirt mare, you're probably confident she was going to get through it okay? Yeah, she travelled travelled really sweet and really didn't put a, a foot wrong in the going and um, it's just a lovely little filly, she's uh, very easy to ride. I think there's a Saturday winner in her? Yeah, I think so, yeah. She runs obviously runs a real strong mile, so um, I think that's the trip she likes and keep her around there and find the right race. Congratulations. Time for a hot shower now. Cheers. There's Paul Harvey combining with David Harrison to win the final event with Vital Flirt. That brings us to the end of a nine-race program and it's just so good that we've been able to get through it on the heavy eight conditions and the track's held up really well. The jockeys have obviously said it's been, you know, testing going for some horses. You mentioned it, either they handle it or they don't. So it's a bit of a tricky meeting in review. Yeah, it certainly is. There's some horses that just really excel in these type of conditions. Others are under pressure from the start. But uh, all the jockeys I've spoken to have said that it's certainly heavy out there, but it's not bottomless and the track's held up quite well considering. And we have had an absolute deluge of rain here over the past couple of weeks. So well done to Racing. Absolutely. Let's hope that uh, that can continue into Saturday afternoon's meeting. We'll catch you again then on Sky Thoroughbred Central. Hope you found a winner. It's good night from us. Back at it by the end of the night. That airplane in the night sky, like shooting stars. I can really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now.